Today we have Elmont Rising Star McGregory Federick, who in his late 20s decided he wanted to pursue a professional football career and now acting. In less than four years, he has played for major semi-pro football teams and is now acting with the likes of Amelia Clark, the Dragon Lady from Game of Thrones, and has also been featured on Ashton Kutcher's Facebook page with some of his content. Please welcome McGregory Federick. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm really excited to have you here. I'm honored to be here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you have time for us. I hear there's red carpets. You you doing 100 gigs. I mean, you how do you have time for us? Hey, man. <laughs> That's a, that's a good question. Definitely, I, w I wanted to be here. Okay. Well, so you did your first red carpet. How did that feel? My first red carpet was an ex experience of a lifetime. You know why? The reason why I say that because I brought my mother. My oh. mother. My mother thought that she was actually going to see a regular movie. Right. But it's to see me. The name of this movie is Parasekers. The Parasekers. The Parasekers. Can you give us a little info about what it is, what your role is, what you do, what happens at the end? Well, <laughs> you, guys, you guys have to see the movie. Well, the okay. Parasekers are four four guys that goes out mm -hmm. um, go hunting for ghosts. And my role in it was a reenactment role. Um, I play as a um, plantation um, worker. Back in the days, um, slaves were not, were not allowed to flirt with other slaves. So the little girl seen us on the field flirting with each other, and she went back to the master and she told. So we have slaves and ghosts mm -hmm. in horror movies. Yes. That's that's I'm, I've never seen a movie like that. I think this might be something that I'm gonna have to check out. Yeah, you definitely should check it out. I'm gonna it's... check it out. How did you get into acting in the first place? Well, I received a text message okay. from 360 Casting, okay. so I decided to call the number to see what the service was about. They told me if I invested a dollar for seven days, mm -hmm. I can book book some gigs. So you know, a dollar. Right. Okay. So I invested the dollar. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna even lie to you, that dollar took me on a journey. Okay, and you've actually been on quite a journey your, your whole life. So, yeah. you know, not only do you act, you are a, a football player, major football player, not just some, you know, guy on the street. You've played <laughs> with some professional teams. So, how did you get started in football? Well, the way I, I got um, started in football, mm -hmm. I graduated from Westchester Community College in 2014, and okay. I, I started working um, in a law firm, Sherman Shamad. And one day, I actually was off. I sat down, turned on the TV, and draft day was on. Okay. So I started watching the movie, and made me it made me think how, you know, you can really make your dreams come true. So after the movie was done, I had to tell myself, you know what? I should continue. I should. I should try football. Unlike I guess traditionally most of the NFL players in in films like this, you uh, are later in life when you made the decision, right? Yes, so yes. you're late twenties, and typically yes. most football players are in their early twenties when they get drafted. Yes, right? you're, you're correct. So yes. where did you start? Thank God I had a friend named Amari. We went okay. to college with each other. I called him. Um, called him up. I think the next day, mm -hmm. and told him about, you know, I want to become a football player. He said, you sure? I was like, I'm definitely, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still good. You know, after that, I can still run, I can still catch the ball. Right. Um, he said, you know what, let's definitely do it. Start hitting the gym, and you, next thing you know, I started training with him. Okay. He, he taught me about the 40, the short shuttles, um, the routes, and a, a lot of other things I had to learn on my own. Okay, you know? so you're talking a language I don't speak. The 40s, <laughs> <laughs> the, the shorts, the routes. I mean, I'm just glad I know that a football <laughs> actually looks like a little oblong instead of circular. So um, I want to learn about this training, but you actually shared some clips with us, which I'm really excited to share with our audience. So um, here's clip number one, and you're just out here in the field. Can you just tell me what's happening? Well, in this video clip, I'm running routes, and he's throwing me passes. So that's that's the short route. That is super fast. Right. And at this point, like, so that's called a route. A route. A route. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. One day, <laughs> you and me are gonna hit the field together. Hey, we can definitely do that. Okay. So. You, you start training, yes. and you, so you're training with Omari, shout out to Omari, and you decide you wanna get on teams. How do you get on teams? And you got on some major teams. Well, the first team I got, in, um, got into was Westchester um, Steelers. Okay. 
And the, and the way I found them was Googling, I Googled them. Mm -hmm. So I decided to you know, shoot them an email. And a couple of weeks later, they shot me an email back and they told me they wanted me to come in. Okay, and you just kept going from there. You ended up playing for a major team. Who, which team was it again? Team America. Team America! <laughs> Is that what you guys do? Team America! <laughs> we kind of do that in practice. Really? Am I getting it? Team America! <laughs> <laughs> And then Team America, you went global with them, right? Is, is that right? Yes. Oh, my God. Where'd you go? We went to, first we went to Florida. Okay. Then we went to um, Canada. Canada. Okay. Well, you know, Florida can be global, but yeah. I think definitely Canada. <laughs> Canada's global. Yeah, okay. Well, that was my first game. That was your first? Florida. Florida. Okay, yeah. okay. And I guess what was the learning curve, right? So you're playing, so now you've gone from training with Omari, you're playing mm. with these major pro teams. Mm. What was it like? Playing on that the next level was crucial. It was, mm -hmm. I was playing with guys that, you know, that was playing in the NFL, indoor leagues as well, CFL. It, it was, it was, it was, to me, it was good, okay. to tell you the truth, because there's a lot of guys out there that would never take that risk to, you know, pursue their dreams, but I did. What was that moment that you are like, oh my gosh, I am here, I'm doing it? Um, being on the field. Mm -hmm. That was the best part. It was... It was something that I dreamed of to play with other football players, and when the, and that, when that dream came true, it was just I grasped with the moment. It was it was fun, mm -hmm. and, you know. Through through my eyes, it's just like wow, because my father never got an opportunity to play football. Nobody okay. in my, my entire family, so I'm the first person to do that. So to be there with those guys that played in the NFL, it's it's cool. And and the guys from Westchester still has never had an opportunity like that. I was the first, I'm the first person. When you decided to make this decision to play football, right? And you're in your late 20s, right? Yeah. No shade. Yeah. You're in your late 20s. You decide, I'm not going to do this law firm thing. I'm going to actually just play football. What did your friends and family think when you said this is what I'm going to do after watching a movie? Well, when I told my mom I'm a, I wanted to become a football player, she gave me that face like, really? Like you're really gonna become a football player, but at the same time, it was like that's my dream. That's something mm -hmm. that was that I wanted to do. There's something inside me that was burning and say, you know what, this is this is truly for me. Mm -hmm. So she was, you know what, anything that you want to do, do it. My father, my father kind of hesitated, but he was like, you know, you you have the ability to, you know, go far with it. Okay, and clearly you have. Of course. Clearly you have, and you are taking it, and you're taking everything with it, right? So you you you're playing football. Acting comes along, yes. right? Yes. You're, you're, you're in Brazil, acting comes along. How did you juggle both? Well, I had to make a decision at, mm -hmm. at the same time, so I picked acting. Okay. So, um, but I did play for Team America mm -hmm. in 2007 in Canada, like I told you. Right. So, um, but after training for a couple of months, I got into a huge accident. Was it like a, a football injury? Like, I mean, does a foot, what, what happened? I went to stop by to see a friend. I to see the friend, I got in the car, jumped on the highway, and next thing you know, a big truck just struck me out of nowhere. Car. Wait, 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 wait. You say it like, you said a truck. Yes. Hit your car. Yes. And the reason why I think I'm here is because of God. Because mm. um, the way he hit me, he hit me from the, um, the driver's side. Okay. So the car spent around. Hit the bricks that was, you know, with the construction workers. Um, so next thing you know, I thought I was dead. But when I got up, I had a concussion because my face hit the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Nose is bleeding, legs, headaches. But hey, I'm alive to tell, to tell the story. Right, clearly you are. When you go through something like that, right, and you're, you're, you're obviously you're playing, you're still with your team. Yes. And you are continuing your, your professional career. This accident happens. Did it prevent you from doing more of your football? Did it have you? What was the ramifications of that accident? I couldn't even continue. Just let me just say that because I was injured. Mm -hmm. So it was it was acting from there on. How did you find the strength, or where did you find the strength to say, well, you know, football is not happening, but I'm going to pursue this acting still? Like, how did you how did you get to that point? To making that decision? Yeah. Well, I really had to think about it because acting, everybody can act at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't have no limitation. Mm -hmm. With a football player, you are, you can up to what? Probably 30, 31. Mm -hmm. In the NFL, you only get like four years. Mm -hmm. so, so I just took it as, a, you know, not a loss, but as a lesson learned, you know, like, you know, I can continue 
with acting at the end of the day. With football, I could I could still play. That's that's the thing. But right. with acting, is it's it's it's, it's, it's I think it's better because okay. it gave me more more experience. It gave me it gave me a lot more. You understand? Yes, I so. do. And well, you clearly you're doing all right for our audience out there. Uh, McGregory, you know, talks like you know this is just something that just naturally happens to everyone, and it doesn't. I've tried acting. Oh yeah. Let me tell you, my pre ten game is whack. But <laughs> <laughs> but our friend here has appeared in over one hundred gigs. Oh, one hundred, and probably then that was like when I read last. So it's probably like one hundred and seventy now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do have a clip because one of the actresses you appeared with in a Vanity Fair shoot for is Dragon Lady, and I'm gonna get it right, because if I don't, Mike in the control room's gonna get me, <laughs> Amelia Clark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so take a look at Regeggery with Emily Clark. Oh, ooh, Amelia Clark. <laughs> <laughs> So how was it playing, like work, like working with Amelia Clark and and playing the? I mean, let's be real. You're the quintessential black man in that shoot. <laughs> <laughs> very frappy, very dapper, might I add. <laughs> working with Amelia Clark was pretty fun. I didn't even know she was British at first. Really? Yeah. I didn't, no, honestly, because in Game of Thrones, she talk she talks like us. She was cool, collective. You know, she was nice, and just working with her was was really fun. Okay. Okay, and then you just on a roll, so you didn't have to stop with, you know, the dragon lady. Mm -hmm. You had to roll up on Ashton Kutcher's page. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, I didn't, I, to tell you the truth, I didn't even know I made this page until somebody emailed me, and like, like look at, go look at Ashton Kutcher's page. I was like, okay. When I did, I was like, wow. I, I think the reason why he put that video up, because that was the best video, because they had like 10 videos and he picked me. So not only on Facebook, but he have another website too of his own, yes. mm -hmm. A plus. plus. Yes, it was the number one video in June. High five me, brother. Wow. Yes, number one. We're gonna be number one. Actually, you know your job is to get me my Emmy. You know that's the mission. <laughs> you know, <laughs> get me my Emmy. Okay, so you're number one on A plus. Mm. I think it's poetic, like number one A plus. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yes, deep. Feel it. Take it in. Take it in. Yes. <laughs> So what's next on the horizon? I mean, what, what's going on? Because you, you're playing football, you're <laughs> acting now. I mean, what, what's coming up? I'm in a new show called Eight at the Table. Eight at the Table? Eight at the Table. It's eight, 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 um, eight people mm -hmm. that's at a table that discuss about marriage, um, relationships. It was quite an experience, but Eight at the mm -hmm. Table, you can definitely check, that, check it out on YouTube. It's, it's, it's a good show. Okay. We're on season two. Okay. Hey, season two. Okay, I'm going to investigate. Polly. All of that, all of that. <laughs> okay, and then um, besides Polly, what else is coming up? Well, uh, I already got cast in two movies I'm okay. doing next month. I'm doing another web series that's coming in November. Um, and, and, and another thing too, around my way, there's a shop called Exit 13 Grooming Lounge. Mm -hmm. We hopefully will be, he'll be, Fab will be the first barber to have a, like a movie premiere. Okay. my movie so around our area okay. around that area so that's gonna be pretty cool to do tell everyone where they can find you so that way when stuff blows up on your phone and you're posting it they can keep they up they can definitely it. find me on Instagram McGregory Frederick Facebook McGregory Frederick mm -hmm. Twitter McGregory Frederick and um, what else I have? You guys, so you got Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Pinterest? No, I don't have that. Pinterest, you slacking, man. I'm slacking. Man, listen, I'm not all in the, the social media. It's just, it's, it's, okay. new, it, it's a new app it's every new, day. Right? Okay. So before we leave a uh, for a rising star, you have to tell our audience and our viewers out here what, what, the, what they can do to live their dream, because clearly you are living it. <laughs> to tell everybody out there, you have to take a risk. Okay. That that's the m one. That's the most important thing. Like th th everybody out there, just want to follow everyone. You have to follow your own path. Mm -hmm. Everybody have their own blueprint. It's up to them to, to, to figure out what the, what they can put on that blueprint. Everybody want to follow everybody. It, you can't make it if you follow everybody. It, 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 it don't make no sense to me. So to me, it's just you know continue working hard, continue being you. And keep striving. It's that, that's that that's the goal, you know. It's 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 how bad you want it. Hmm. That's that's the thing. How far would you go for your dreams? I went far for mine. Yeah. 
Okay, well said, well said. So I would like to thank McGregory Federic for being our rising star. I, uh, I think I'm gonna take some of that risk myself and hit the field with you. How about the acting? I'll let you do that for us. <laughs> Look, actually, you know what? I take that back. Okay. I think if Amelia Clark ever does another mm -hmm. stock footage mm -hmm. photo, I could, I could definitely do it. Watch. Mm, bam. Okay. See? 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 Sophisticated woman. Bam. Okay. Right? I can do that. <laughs> if you know a rising star who would be great for our show, please feel free to visit the www.patv.org website and submit. We would love to hear from you or to meet them. And, you know, always follow us on social media. Uh, again, thank you to our guest, our rising star. And, uh, that's it. I'm Carly Lavelle, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>